Oh, I like this one. This is John Wayne in a film which I've seen back to back. I did it for you, my audience. I did it for you. The Conqueror is really named as in all the lists of the worst films of all times. It's always on there. And if you see it, you see why. He plays Genghis Khan. Okay, so he, uh, John Wayne plays Genghis Khan. And they shot all of it in Snow Canyon in Utah. And um, why am I telling you this? Because a year before they shot it, uh, there was a, a big nuclear test in neighboring Utah called the Test Harry. It's known to this day as Dirty Harry because the amount of radiation that was re released was absolutely massive. And it ended up kind of not doing what the meteorologist had said. It, the cloud just went around and around, and it finally settled in Snow Canyon, Utah, where a year, year later they started filming this kind of epic film. Uh, they had about 5,000 Native American extras. They had uh, huge wind machines which kind of whirled up all that radioactive dust. And uh, after they'd finished filming, about 60 tons of uh, that sand was moved to the studio to shoot the close-ups. Uh, in, in 1980, someone counted, um, and of, of 210 uh, cast and crew, 91 had developed cancer and 46 had died, including John Wayne, Susan Hayward, who was the female lead, and Dick Powell, who was the director. Now, the source of this is People magazine, so this is not a scientific source. There was no control group. Um, we don't know effectively if, you know, one would have to study this scientifically. I put it in the book because um, the effect we know it had was uh, the producer of the film was Howard Hughes, who was a very, very eccentric uh, billionaire. Uh, who lived in Las Vegas, and he, he must have been freaked out by this, and he was. Um, uh, and he'd, he'd, he, he was someone who lived very close by the testing range. Las Vegas is not far away from the Nevada testing range. And he fought a relentless campaign to move the tests from Nevada to Alaska. And eventually they were. So actually two of the biggest nuclear tests done in history, underground tests, were actually done in Alaska in one of the this country's oldest natural reserves. So that's why it's in here. And uh